Good afternoon. Welcome to TI22. Welcome to, well, I think if we had on the 992 Turbo, if we called that Gentian Blue Friday, I think we're going to call this Aqua Blue Thursday. Um, so yeah, that brings me neatly onto the car, doesn't it? So I think this is a rare colour. I haven't seen many 997s, I haven't seen many 911s, I haven't seen many 997s in this colour. Aqua Blue, um, this is a 997 09, so a 997.2 Carrera 2S, Carrera S. Um, and what a lovely thing. We do like these, don't we? Just it's always nice how well the 997 is aging, actually. As you can see from the title of this video, which I think I'll probably allude to the fact that it's quite a big turnaround, um, the, this car had been sat outside, um, got a little bit neglected through no um, sort of neglect on the, on the owner's fault for, for reasons out of his control. It had to sit around for a while. So, um, needed a big cleanup, and I'm really, really pleased with the turnaround on this one. Um, as you'll know, regular listeners, regular Porsche owning uh, watchers and customers will know we love a Porsche, um, and this one has been no different. Absolutely wonderful to work on, um, and one of the reasons I love working on these things is they just come back so nicely. They just the paint is nice to work with. They're a lovely thing to polish. The shape is nice to polish. They're just amazing to work on. So uh, this one has come back well. So um, what we've done really on this is you know it needed a thorough clean. Um, I will run through a little bit. As you can see, with, when cars have sat around for a little bit, it had started to pick up a lot of green in, in the window rubbers down the side. Um, and it, in all the little nooks and crannies, really lots of leaves in the shuts, dirt in the shuts, um, all of those sorts of things, which you know we, we are here to clean. So all of those were cleaned out. Um, the general process that we use when we clean the car is we give it a snow foam first of all. We'll, we'll rinse off any loose dirt and stuff or just to get the car wet first of all. And then we will snow foam the car which allows the chemical to stay wet but work and foam in and, and loosen more the, the grit that is bonded to the paintwork. And then we'll rinse that off. Then we will clean the wheels. So as you can see here, the wheel cleaner that we use reacts with iron. So anytime it's reacting with brake dust, it's sort of melting into the brake dust and it forms that red that you can see. We actually use two forms of wheel cleaner. So the, the red one, which is a mild acid, so we don't like acid wheel cleaners, but something always has to be on one side of pH neutral. So the red one is a slight acid, and then we use another one actually, which is a slight alkali, which will then neutralize that and just cleans, acids and alkalis clean different types of, um, I should start you off actually, I should start you moving, shouldn't I? So let me just do that. Right, ah, part two on the 997. Sorry about that, just had to um, get you moving, actually. Um, so, yeah, sorry, I was just getting a bit of on a, on a bit of a um, tangent about wheel cleaning chemicals, sorry about that. Um, yes, so we use a couple of different ones to get the wheels clean on a car like this they are as clean as they're going to be. They've got a bit of damage in the future, maybe. Um, we would recommend that they're probably getting towards needing a refurb, but they've come back really nicely. Um, so once we've done the wheels, we then move on to really cleaning all those little nooks and crannies out. So we will get some degreaser and just clean out any bits that it's going to be difficult to wash, well, that, that a sponge or a sponge, we don't use sponges, oh, that a wash mitt 
won't get into. So what we'll do is just use a very soft, fine brush into all the nooks and crannies, like the headlight bezels, the joins between panels. We will open all the doors, open the fuel filler, and just scrub in any of those areas, which on this car particularly had, you know, just picked up dirt. Um, at that stage, we will also scrub all of the green out of the gutters and all those things and the rubbers on the windows. And really just get in, the, the idea is that we get in any of the nooks and crannies that the wash mitt later won't do. So then the car is given uh, another rinse off and then we will give it a conventional wash with a wash mitt. The car is of course then dried brought inside. Sometimes we will clay the car outside if it's wet and we've got enough light and it's not freezing cold at this time of year. Um, sometimes we'll bring it inside and do it and then dry the car off after that. Um, and then of course, as you're, you're used to hearing me say, the bulk of the work is the machine polishing. On a job like this, this was booked in for our enhancement detail, which means that we try and achieve um, the, the most gloss and the most defect removal possible whilst minimizing the amount of clear coat we're taking off because obviously everything we do with a machine polish is destructive. We don't remove the, you know, we, we can't do something magic to take the scratch away. All we're doing is lowering the level of the paint to the bottom of the scratch effectively. So it's all destructive. So with a service like this, there will be the odd mark left in, although I have to say I'm really pleased with the amount of correction this car got. It, 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 you'd be hard pushed really to, to see any real marks. And there are one or two very deep marks which would require removing a lot of clear coat. Um, and that is the stage really that brings back that wonderful depth because the, there are no scratches on top, changing the way the light is refracted through the paint. Um, and really that's what gives it the brilliant look. So super pleased with how this looks. Um, once we've done that, we then move on to the protection stage. So I'll um, probably just fire in the time lapse I did of me protecting this, um, how to put an afternoon's worth of work into um, about one minute's worth of video. Um, as you can see, it basically involves me going around the car a couple of times. We used the, one of our favorite coatings on this car actually, the Gion, Gion, G-Y-E-O-N, Duraflex coating, which is a two-stage coating. So you'll see in the video, the first lap I do is a degreasing lap to, to make sure there's no oils or anything left in the paint from the polishing stage. We then put the base layer on, which is the one that does the, the principal protection. And then we put the top layer on, and that is the one that has all the crazy water behavior and everything. If I remember, I'll just get a little water behavior video for you on this before it goes, actually. I'll just spray some water onto the paintwork and you'll see how the, the water literally falls off the paint, really. Um, the idea of that is that it will stay, that's where the self-cleaning that I always talk about comes in. So it stays cleaner for longer and uh, is much easier to clean when you clean the car. That was two days ago, so this has had, we normally say a minimum of 24 hours for a coating to cure. This has had 48 hours actually, so should be super well protected and just had the maximum amount of time for that coating to cure. And that really is it. That coating always adds another little bit of gloss as well on top of the machine polishing that we do. Um, and then really all that we do is tidy up the corners. So dress the tires, we will um, clean the glass, go through the interior of the valet, obviously with current restrictions and stuff at the moment, we're being a little bit careful on interiors. We don't want to pass anything on. We do clean the interiors with a cleaning and an antibacterial agent um, from our pals at Sansom Car Care. Cabin care we use, um, which was specifically developed for that reason really. Um, and it's really good at it, really like it. So yeah, I won't talk any more. I will do what I normally do and just filter in some music now, edit some of that over the top, and 
I've walked around the car and prepared, um, you know, already done some nice beauty shots for you. So I'll try and edit those together quite nicely and artily, as artily as I'm capable of when I'm at the editing desk, um, and let you enjoy the beautiful pictures of this Aqua Blue 997 Carrera S, which I do hope you enjoy because I think it's an absolutely stunning colour. Thanks for watching, guys, and do the like, share, subscribe, comment, all the YouTube stuff. It really helps. Cheers.